Hey, what's up, guys? AJR Tech here, and today I'll be showing you a really awesome ROM for um the Galaxy Ace GTS 5830 model, and it's called Experiatized V13, uh, and it gives you a nice experiatized look on your Android device. Um, so I'm going to show you some of its features. So first up here, you have a uh, similar uh, gingerbread styled uh, tab lock lock screen with a bit of a twist. Uh, to make it look like the Xperia. Now, when you first install this ROM, you have um, this wallpaper that comes by default. Um, there's other wallpapers which I'll get to in a second. Um, now, by the way, this widget does not come with this ROM. I installed this widget myself uh, using an app called Beautiful Widgets. You can get that on the Play Store. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. It is paid, but trust me, guys, it's well worth it, and you'll be supporting the developer at the same time. So, at first, when you install this ROM, you have two spots that are empty, and you can fill those with whatever apps you want. And uh, one thing I find really awesome about this ROM is you have the Xperia animations when you open the app drawer, like so, as you guys can see. And if you move to the next page, and if you press this button here, you can uninstall some apps and move the order. Um, so, you automatically have Super User, and uh, CWM that comes with this ROM when you flash it and you also have the Tweak Manager app now this application Tweak Manager comes with a CF root kernel so the kernel that comes in this ROM is actually really good it's a battery extender kernel um, plus CF root capabilities so I'll just show you what Tweak Manager is uh, for a second here so Tweak Manager is actually pretty cool. It allows you to enable a uh, bunch of different tweaks that only work on um, CF root kernels. And what CF root stands for is uh, chain fire uh, root, and it's a special type of kernel that has a lot of uh, features inbuilt into it. Now, one thing that I really love about this ROM is simply the battery life. Trust me guys, you use this ROM for a couple days and the battery life will last you ages. Um, trust me when I say that, if you use it for a little bit, of course the uh, usage will vary, but this uh, ROM has really, really awesome battery life. So as you can see, the kernel version is um, libisc at battery extender 1, and it also has CF root capabilities. So it's running at Android version 2.3.6, if I tap on it, it'll activate the um, Easter egg. But instead of coming up with the uh, normal Easter egg, it comes up with this Xperia project. Uh, and let's have a look at some of the general settings. So the settings uh, looks pretty good. It's pretty much the same as the gingerbread one. It's just given a bit of a different theme. Um, but I think it's not that bad. Uh, now with the notifications, the notifications are pretty ordinary in my opinion. Um, you don't have any toggles or anything, it's just straight notifications, um, but it's nice and simple. Uh, now, with, with uh, this ROM, it did not come with a YouTube app. I actually installed this from the Play Store. Uh, I thought that was a bit annoying and it didn't come with a YouTube app, but it doesn't really matter. I guess you can just download one from the Play Store. Um, so, it also comes with its own music player gallery and camera and I'll just quickly open up the camera to show you guys that it actually does work because um, with some ROMs cameras obviously don't work and they crash so I'm just gonna take a picture of my laptop here and as you guys can see it works pretty well um, now you have two cameras which I thought was a bit strange you've got camera and camera mod uh, they both look exactly the same I think camera mod is just a modified version of the camera with a little bit better um, photo quality. So you also have the standard gingerbread task manager along with clock, my files, downloads, contacts, etc. with different icons to look like the Xperia. So if you press the menu key, you also have a new option that says preferences. And here you have a couple preferences for the Xperia launcher. You can change the app drawer, you can enable a few different things. Um, I'll let you guys figure that one out. And you can back up all your settings. I'm actually just going to make a backup now. And it will save it to your SD card. So say if you reflash this ROM again. Um, you could import or restore your settings. And you'd have all your home screens. Everything the same as uh, in order they were before. 
So now let's check out some of the wallpapers. So this ROM actually comes with a, a lot of wallpapers. It comes with all the Xperia S wallpapers as you guys can see here. So you have a couple of nice wallpapers. Uh, I'm currently using the default one. I like this one. I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to set it to that. And uh, yeah, like I said, some pretty awesome wallpapers here. And if you enable the animations in the settings, when you turn off the screen, you have that nice TV animation. Um, that comes in a lot of Cyanogen mod based ROMs, and it's also nice to have that feature inbuilt into here. So um, this has been a uh, quick review on the Xperiatize V13 ROM for Galaxy Ace. All links can be found down in the description below where you guys can download it. Uh, if you want to learn how to actually flash custom ROMs for this phone, that is the Samsung Galaxy Ace, I'll also have a link down in the description which will show you how to flash custom ROMs on this phone. And of course, remember, you will need root access for this, which I'll also have a link down in the description. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know how to install this ROM. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great tech videos and of course if you did enjoy it then share the URL up above with your friends. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.